Hey everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy or TDA, the place where we break down Salesforce the smart and simple way. I'm glad you're here. If you're a certified platform app builder, this video is for you. Today, we're walking through your Winter D25 maintenance module, the latest release from Salesforce to help you keep your CERT current and stay ahead of the curve. Whether you're refreshing your knowledge or learning something brand new, we've got you covered. Let's kick off with what we'll learn today. By the end of this module, you'll be able to use the new dynamic highlights panel in the Lightning App Builder, work smarter with record creation and updates in Flow Builder, control how users interact with data using disabled and read-only fields, and navigate the enhanced user access summary with ease. Oh, and don't forget, you must complete this module to keep your platform app builder certification active. So let's dive in. First up, the dynamic highlights panel. Previously, if you wanted to display important record details at the top of a lightning page, you had to rely on compact layouts in setup. But now you can configure this directly in the lightning app builder using the dynamic highlights panel giving you more control and a cleaner user experience. Here's why it's a game changer. It supports up to 12 fields. It's fully responsive, so no more awkward cutoff fields when resizing your browser. You can add visibility rules, showing or hiding fields based on user needs, and it uses dynamic actions by default. Need to add one? Just drag the component onto the canvas, choose your fields, and you're done. Oh. And if you want this on mobile, don't forget to enable it under Setup, Salesforce Mobile App, Dynamic Forms and Highlights Panel on mobile. All right, that's a big win for page layouts. But what about automation? Let's move on to Flow Builder, where we've got a brilliant update to the Create Records element. Instead of splitting out steps to check if a record exists before updating or creating, you can now do it all in one go. Think of a district sales manager who collects monthly updates from reps. Whether it's existing customers or brand new leads, this one element can create or update records based on whether a matching field value is found in the system. Here's how to set it up. In Flow Builder, add the Create Records element. Choose to create multiple records. Use a record collection. Enable Update Existing Records and specify the match field. Less complexity, fewer errors, cleaner flows. What's not to love? Now, let's talk about field control in flow screens. Sometimes you want users to see data without being able to edit it, or you want to clearly indicate that a field is locked. Now, with disabled and read-only fields, you can do exactly that. What's the difference? Disabled Amontian field can't be clicked, navigated, or edited. Read only. Field can't be edited, but users can copy the value. And yes, these visual cues are clearly displayed, like a grayed out background, so users know exactly what's interactive and what's not. Just set either property to true in your flow, and you're good to go. Finally, let's look at the user access summary. This one's all about admin productivity, you can now view a user's assigned permissions, public groups, and queues all in one place. No more clicking through multiple pages. From setup, search users, pick a user, and hit view summary. The layout matches the user's profile page, making it easier to manage access efficiently and consistently. Now, it's quiz time. Let's test what you've learned with a few questions, just like you'll see on Trailhead. Q1. What are the advantages of using the dynamic highlights panel? A. The panel can show or hide fields based on visibility rules. B. It allows the addition of custom icons to the field names. C. Fields can be configured right in the Lightning App Builder. D. A and B. E. A and C. The correct is E. The panel supports visibility rules and in-builder configuration. Custom icons aren't a feature of this panel yet. Q2, what enhancement was made to the Flow Builder Create Records element? A, 
it creates a record following a check duplicate step. B, it can be used to create or update multiple records using a record collection. C, it creates or deletes records based on a specified field value. D, it merges, retrieves, and creates records into one element. Option B is correct. This new enhancement lets you update existing records as part of the same action, super efficient. Three, true or false. When the disabled field is set to true, users can't modify that field in the screen component. A, true B, false. Correct option is A. That's right. The disabled setting locks the field down completely. Kufor, what is displayed on the improved user access summary page? A, the selected user's assigned permissions. B, public groups or queues the selected user is added to. C, the leads and accounts assigned to the selected user. D, A and B, E, B and C. The correct is D, the summary includes permissions, public groups and queues but not record assignments like leads or accounts. And that wraps up our Winter 25 certification maintenance module. Let's quickly recap what we covered. Dynamic highlights panel, more flexibility, right in the Lightning app builder. Flow builder updates, one element to create and update records. Disabled and read only fields, better control over data entry in flows. User access, summary, one place to manage user visibility and access. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to stay on top of Trailhead modules and Salesforce releases, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Got a question or tip of your own? Drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear how you use these features in your org. Thanks for learning with the Declarative Academy. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, keep building keep learning, and as always, stay declarative.